There seems to be a lot of confusion on the internet at present as to what social justice actually is, so I thought I'd do a video explaining a bit about it. Uh, the Royal Society for the Encouragement of Arts gives the following definition of social justice. Quote, the term social justice implies fairness and mutual obligation in society, that we are responsible for one another and that we should ensure that all have equal chances to succeed in life. In societies wherein life chances are not distributed equally, this implies redistribution of opportunities, although the shape or that such redistribution should take remains contested. The most influential thinker on social justice has been John Rawls. Rawls argues for a balance between social equality and individual freedom. However, social equality and individual freedom are frequently seen as in tension and debate continues as to how and to what extent they can be balanced." End quote. Um, from page 6 of Social Justice in an Open World, uh, the role of the United Nations, quote, The failure to actively pursue justice is not without consequences. From the comprehensive global perspective, shaped by the United Nations Charter and the Uni Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Neglect of the pursuit of social justice in all its dimensions translates into de facto acceptance of a future marred by violence, repression and chaos. A number of observations may be made with regard to this phenomenon. End quote. And from page 7 of the same document, quote, Social justice requires strong and coherent policies in a multitude of areas, fiscal, monetary and other economic policies, as well as social policies, in incorporate specific objectives but must all be geared towards the overall social goal of promoting the welfare of a country's citizens and increasingly in this age of global interdependence the citizens of the world the well-being of citizens requires broad-based and sustainable economic growth economic justice the provision of employment opportunities and more generally the existence of conditions for the optimal development of people as individuals and social beings end quote um, social justice includes by necessity a concern for the environment, as made clear in this passage, which is from pages 7 and 8 of the same document. Uh, quote, social justice may be broadly understood as the fair and compassionate distribution of the fruits of economic growth. However, it is necessary to attach some important qualifiers to this statement. Currently, maximising growth appears to be the primary objective, but it is also essential to ensure that growth is sustainable that the integrity of the natural environment is respected, that the use of non-renewable resources is rationalised, and that future generations are able to enjoy a beautiful and hospitable earth. The conception of social justice must integrate these dimensions, starting with the right of all human beings to benefit from a safe and pleasant environment. This entails the fair distribution among countries and social groups of the cost of protecting the environment and of developing safe technologies for production and safe products for consumption. Two of the greatest indicators of progress during the past century are the increased equality of men and women and the growing recognition that human beings are both guests and custodians of the planet Earth. Unfortunately, little has been done to apply this enhanced environmental consciousness on the ground. Environmental concerns were largely ignored by communist regimes and are not typically integrated into socialist approaches to the management of human affairs. Capitalist systems tend to deify production and consumption at the expense of balanced long-term growth. Social justice will only flourish if environmental preservation and sustainable development con constitute an integral part of growth strategies now and in the future. End quote. Um, I feel the following passage aptly addresses criticisms of the concept of social justice. Uh, this is from pages 8 and 9 of the same document. 
um, it is, quote, it is perhaps the fault of certain misguided and overly sentimental proponents of social justice that generosity, compassion, solidarity and ultimately justice itself have come to be perceived in the dominant world culture as soft and therefore insignificant and indispensable qualities or concepts. The idea of social justice has too often been associated with an excessively benevolent perception of human nature and a naively optimistic belief in the capacity of good ideas and institutions to transform the world into a, a secure and agreeable place. The capacity to judge and sanction is an indispensable quality at all levels of society. However, exclusive reliance on simple straightforward instincts will only lead to injustice and violence. It makes more sense to periodically revisit and update the concept of social justice than to act as if it is obsolete. End quote. Now, I shall link that document in the description. Uh, these days it's not uncommon on the internet for opponents of social justice to apply the word humanist to themselves, usually as an alternative to feminist. Um, as I've made clear in previous videos, this demonstrates a lack of understanding as to what humanism actually is. Humanism is a worldview which is secular rather than religious. So it is an alternative to religion, not feminism, as these quotes from the IHEU conference in Oxford make abundantly clear. Humanism recognises feminist theory and very much includes feminism. Um, this first one is from Richard Dawkins. It says, quote, Of course I'm a feminist. Come on, how can anyone not be one? End quote. Um, next quote. Humanism entails feminism. That's been wonderfully clear this weekend. End quote. Uh, next one, quote, An enduring theme throughout this Congress has been how patriarchy and religiously motivated oppression often go hand in hand. End quote. Uh, next one, quote, I had to struggle as a woman for human rights. One must realise ours is a greatly patriarchal society. End quote. And... To quote from the UN World Day of Social Justice, which is an article by Sylvan Ehrenfeldt, representative to the UN from the International Humanist and Ethical Union, that's the IHEU, um, quote, Social justice is more than an ethical imperative. It is a vital foundation for national stability and global progress. End quote. And I shall link that in the description. Uh, IHEU Vice President Rob Bittenweg has published Human Rights, Human Plights in a Global Village, in which he devotes a chapter to addressing critics of social justice. And I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, so yeah, social justice is quintessential to humanism. Uh, this is why I find this recent trend of rejecting the term feminism in favour of gender egalitarianism also rather uninspiring. Um, Given as its most enthusiastic proponents seem to not only reject peer-reviewed studies on gender equality, but also reject social justice as a concept overall, often belittling those who support social justice with terms like social justice warrior. Um, let's remember the word egalitarian refers to someone who supports equality. Uh, I fail to see how any movement which gender egalitarianism isn't, despite its many, many enthusiastic self-identifiers, uh, which centres around equality, could reject a concept like social justice. Um, so to summarise, the gender egalitarian movement is flawed in every word of its name. Uh, it isn't a movement, it neither understands nor supports equality, and it rejects peer-reviewed studies on gender. Um, whether or not a person chooses to support social justice is up to them, but I would suggest that they do some reading up on what social justice is before rejecting it, and I would also suggest that those who reject it stop trying to co-opt terms such as humanism and egalitarianism for themselves, as doing so is obviously nonsensical. <laughs> Thanks for watching.